students i hope you all are fit and fine and doing very well in your studies dear students so let's proceed our today's class and we are going to read chapter number 7 that is getting to know plants in last video we had discussed about the different type of plants that herb shrub trees creepers and climbers in this video we are going to start our next topic that is plant system so plant system is divided into root system and shoot system today we are going to learn about root system so let's begin our today's class so let's start our today's science class dear students you know that we have already started chapter number 7 that is getting to know plants in our previous video we have already learned about herb shrub trees creepers and climbers in this video we are going to learn about plant system so let's start our today's science class so students let's start our today's topic that is plant system the body of a plant consists of many parts and each part of a plant has a specific function to perform root stem leaves flowers are some of the important parts of a plant aur har ek part ka apna alag alag function hota hai and in this chapter we are going to read about all that functions so students broadly the plant is divided into two parts the part that remain under the ground form the root system to so which part form root system the part that remain under the ground yani wo part jo ground ke niche hai wo kaun sa part form karta hai root system so the part that remain under the ground form the root system and the part above the ground form the shoot system yani wo part jo ground ke upar hai wo use hum shoot system kehte hain so now it is clear that the parts that remain under the ground form the root system and the parts above the ground form the shoot system so i hope root system and shoot system is clear to you now students plants they have different parts fruit so what is fruit a protective covering that surrounds the seed to so fruit jo hota hai wo protective covering hota hai jo seed ke charo taraf hota hai leaf so leaf makes the plants food aap logo ne ye sab cheeze pehle bhi padha hai so let's recall once again what is leaf leaf makes the plants food flower flower makes seeds stem stem carries water and food to the rest of the plant and what is the function of roots anchor anchor means hold anchor the plant in place and absorb water and other minerals from the soil so i hope the meaning of each and every part of a plant is clear to you so let's start roots root is the most important part of a plant it is the underground part of a plant each root has a cluster of very fine thread like structure called root hairs so root hairs is a very important part of a roots and it is fine thread like structure present in roots and these root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil root fixes the plant in the soil and helps it to grow students root system 
consists of two types of root tap root and fibrous root so let's talk about tap root system now the main root is called tap root and the branches that arise from the main root are called lateral roots so really it is very simple you just look at the mustard plant ek mustard plant aap le lijiye aur usko observe kariye uske root ko aapko observe karna hai now it has a main root from which a number of branch root arise so that main root is called tap root or primary root and from that tap root a number of small branches arise that is called as lateral roots to jo main root hota hai usko hum tap root kehte hain aur jo branches tap root se arise hote hain usko hum kya kehte hain lateral roots the other plants which show tap root system are mango neem pine shisham pea carrot radish turnip and beetroot next we have fibrous root system a cluster of thin fibers like roots at the base of the stem is called fibrous root so you can just see in picture also a number of thin fibers like roots arise from the base of a stem and fibrous roots they have a bushy appearance means these roots spread out in the soil and support the plant firmly so plant of wheat maize grass millet etc have fibrous root it it is also very simple you just take one grass plant and observe it carefully it means observe the root of grass plant carefully you observe that a number of thin fibers like roots arise from the base of a stem so these roots are in cluster form so you can easily understand fibrous root also so i hope tap root system and fibrous root system is clear to you students root system consists of two types of root tap root and fibrous root so let's talk about tap root system now the main root is called tap root and the branches that arise from the main root are called lateral roots so really it is very simple you just look at the mustard plant ek mustard plant aap le lijiye aur usko observe kariye uske root ko aapko observe karna hai now it has a main root from which a number of branch root arise so that main root is called tap root or primary root and from that tap root a number of small branches arise that is called as lateral roots to jo main root hota hai usko hum tap root kehte hain aur jo branches tap root se arise hote hain usko hum kya kehte hain lateral roots the other plants which show tap root system are mango neem pine shisham pea carrot radish turnip and beetroot next we have fibrous root system a cluster of thin fibers like roots at the base of the stem is called fibrous root so you can just see in picture also a number of thin fibers like roots arise from the base of a stem and fibrous roots they have a bushy appearance means these roots spread out in the soil and support the plant firmly so plant of wheat maize grass millet etc have fibrous root it it is also very simple you just take one grass plant and observe it carefully it means observe the root of grass plant carefully 
you observe that a number of thin fibers like roots arise from the base of a stem so these roots are in cluster form so you can easily understand fibrous root also so i hope tap root system and fibrous root system is clear to you so students let's learn the functions of the root the first function we have roots hold the plant firmly in the soil yani jo root hota hai wo plant ko mitti mein firmly hold karke rakhta hai yani pakad karke rakhta hai so roots go down into the soil spread out and hold the plant firmly to the soil next we have roots absorb water and mineral from the soil so you know that very well ki root it is present where it is present below the ground and it absorb water and mineral from the soil so root hairs absorb water and mineral from the soil and send it to other parts of the plant through the stem water and minerals are needed by the plant for their growth so you already know this water and mineral both are essential for the proper growth and development of the plant root prevents soil erosion so this is our third function roots prevent soil erosion ab ye soil erosion kya hota hai so students soil erosion ke bare mein maine pehle bhi aap logo ko bataya hai ki jab kabhi kabhi tez barish hoti hai to kya hota hai ki jo टॉप लेयर होता है जो सॉइल का टॉप लेयर होता है इट इज़ बींग वॉश्ड अवे विथ वाटर तो वो क्या होता है कि पानी के साथ बह जाता है तो टॉप लेयर जो सॉइल का होता है वो बहुत ही फर्टाइल होता है और कभी कभी जब बहुत तेज हवा आती है तभी भी मिट्टी क्या होता है हवा के साथ उड़ जाता है सो इट इज़ नॉट गुड बिकॉज टॉप सॉइल इज फर्टाइल एंड फर्टाइल सॉइल is very very important for proper growth and development of plant because it consists of nutrients aur jo fertile soil hota hai usme kai tarah ke essential nutrients hote hain jo plants ke proper growth aur development ke liye zaruri hota hai aur isi ko hum soil erosion kehte hain jab फर्टाइल लेयर जो होता है जो सॉइल का टॉप लेयर होता है जब वो पानी या हवा के साथ बह जाता है या फिर उड़ जाता है सो दैट रूट्स प्रिवेंट सॉइल इरोजन सो रूट्स बाइंड द सॉइल पार्टिकल टूगेदर एंड दस प्रिवेंट सॉइल इरोजन रूट क्या करता है वो सॉइल के पार्टिकल को बाइंड करके रखता है मतलब होल्ड करता है सॉइल के पार्टिकल्स को पकड़ के रखता है और ना ही उन्हें तेज पानी के साथ बहने देता है और ना ही हवा के साथ उड़ने देता है सो इन दिस वे रूट्स प्रिवेंट सॉइल इरोजन सो रूट होल्ड द सॉइल टुगेदर एंड सेव एट फ्रॉम बीइंग ब्लोन ऑफ बाय स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड और वॉश्ड अवे बाय फ्लोइंग वाटर सो दीज आर द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द रूट so students let's learn about modifications of the root now what is modification of the root in some plants roots perform other functions beside the three primary functions which we have read earlier for this their structure is slightly changed अब मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ रूट का मतलब होता है कि जो अभी हम लोगों ने थ्री फंक्शंस पढ़ा था उसके अलावा भी रूट और दूसरे फंक्शंस करता है जिसकी वजह से रूट का जो क्या होता है स्ट्रक्चर चेंज हो जाता है और इसी को हम क्या कहते हैं मॉडिफिकेशन सो व्हेन रूट्स परफॉर्म डिफरेंट फंक्शंस विच चेंज देयर स्ट्रक्चर इज कॉल्ड मॉडिफिकेशन In certain plants the structure of root is changed in a natural way to perform additional functions such roots are called modified roots some modified roots store food 
the plants such as radish carrot sweet potato and beet have solen roots solen means puffy jo jisko hum kehte hain suja hua solen root means suja hua root isko hum puffy bhi kehte hain solen means puffy also to aapne dekha hoga ki kuch plants mein jaise ki radish hai carrot hai sweet potato hai इनके जो रूट्स होते हैं वो कैसे होते हैं वो सोलन होते हैं वाई बिकॉज दीज रूट स्टोर फूड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द प्लांट एंड दीज आर यूज एज फूड सम मॉडिफाइड रूट्स प्रोवाइड एडिशनल सपोर्ट टू द प्लांट और ट्रीज इन ट्रीज लाइक बैनियन ट्री Rope like roots grow from the main branches. These roots on reaching the ground penetrate the soil and provides support to the heavy branches. Such roots are called prop roots. Ab ye prop roots jo hote hain students they just give a pillar like appearance or they just give rope like appearance. So Have you observed banyan tree from banyan tree rope like roots grow from the main branches to jo banyan tree ka main branches hota hai wahan se rope like structure arise hota hai and this rope like structure they hang downward and finally enter the soil to provide support to the heavy branches and such a root is called prop root तो बैनियन ट्री में प्रॉप रूट होते हैं और प्रॉप रूट का काम क्या होता है दे जस्ट हैंग डाउनवर्ड एंड आफ्टर रीचिंग द ग्राउंड दे पिनेटरेट द सॉयल एंड दे प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टू द हैवी ब्रांचेस सो आई होप प्रॉप रूट इज क्लियर टू यू प्लांट्स लाइक मेज शुगर केन एंड स्क्रेव पाइन हैव लॉन्ग थिन स्टेम्स to remain standing erect such stem need some additional support this additional support to such plant is provided by the roots growing from their stem such roots are called stilt roots okay to prop root ke baad next hame we have to know about stilt root अब ये स्टिल रूट क्या होते हैं तो कुछ प्लांट्स जैसे हमारे पास मेज है शुगर केन है स्क्रू पाइन है दे हैव वेरी लॉन्ग एंड थिन स्टेम सो टू रिमेन स्टैंडिंग इरेक्ट अब इन स्टेम्स को सीधा खड़ा होने के लिए एडिशनल सपोर्ट की जरूरत पड़ती है सो दिस एडिशनल सपोर्ट टू सच प्लांट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द रूट ग्रोइंग फ्रॉम देयर स्टेम अब जो इन प्लांट की जो स्टेम होती है उन स्टेम से ही रूट अराइज होते हैं मतलब ये कि जो स्टेम्स होते हैं इन प्लांट्स के जैसे मेज है शुगर केन है तो इनके स्टेम से ही रूट अराइज होती है और वो रूट इन प्लांट्स को सीधा खड़ा होने में हेल्प करती है एडिशनल सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड करती है so this additional support to such plant is provided by the roots growing from their stem such roots are called stilt root to so, stilt root kahan se grow karti hai matlab ye ki stilt root jo hoti hai wo jo plants hote hain unke stem se hi grow karti hai aur plants ko khada hone mein help karti hai additional support provide karti hai तो एग्जाम्पल हमारे पास है मेज शुगर केन एंड स्क्रू पाइन दीज प्लांट्स दे हैव स्टिल्ड रूट्स टू प्रोवाइड देम एडिशनल सपोर्ट इन ऑर्डर टू स्टैंडिंग इरेक्ट सो बोथ प्रॉप रूट एंड स्टिल्ड रूट दे आर फॉर एक्स्ट्रा सपोर्ट दैट प्लांट कैन और ट्रीज कैन स्टैंड फर्मली so students that's all for today's class next topic we will discuss in next video so your homework is that you have to make notes of all the topics which i taught you in this video and previous video also and after completing your notes just send in group so main thing is that keep smiling stay home stay healthy
and next topic we will discuss in next video thanks for watching this video